Neo Grunfeld defense with 3, d5, 4.bg2, bg7, 5.nf3. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed Black in that one. Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. White overpowered Black in the middle game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. Nf3 strengthens the d4 piece and moves the knight closer to the center while exerting more control over the e5 square. g6 prepares to fianchetto the dark squared bishop on g7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. In order to dominate the center from the long diagonal, g3 is getting ready to fianchetto the light squared bishop to g2. Fianchetto move bg7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. Fianchetto move bg2 places the bishop on the long diagonal. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. This defends the attacked pawn. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. This offers an equal trade of pieces. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This protects the attacked pawn. It is the last book move. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This misses a chance to win a tempo on a queen while simultaneously developing a piece. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This poses a threat to slay a queen. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. This is the only good move. This threatens to kick a queen. It is a great move. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. This strikes a rival knight. That's good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is ideal. The potential for an x-ray attack through two pieces exists here. It is quite good. That is a regrettable error. It is incorrect. This threatens to create an x-ray attack through two pieces. It is a miss. This prevents the adversary from launching an x-ray strike across two components. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. That's good. This poses a threat to slay a queen. It is incorrect. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This threatens to kick a queen. It is best. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. This wastes a chance to center a knight and give it more power over squares. It is incorrect. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to concentrate a knight so that it can dominate more squares. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This misses a chance to center a knight so that it can dominate more squares. It is incorrect. A powerful play. It is quite good. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is ideal. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This blows the chance to make a bishop threat. It is incorrect. 
This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. This checks the king while also revealing an attack on a pawn. It is quite good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is ideal. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. This is how you take down a rook. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is ideal. This might indicate that a rook was attacked. It is incorrect. That queen's capture earns stuff. It is ideal. Recaptures. A pinned bishop may feel more pressure as a result of this. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to safety. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is excellent. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. It is ideal. This prevents the attack on a bishop that may have been seized. It is quite good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Hence, a rook is pinned to the king. It is quite good. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is quite good. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. It is excellent. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. White overpowered black in the middle game. 